And in today's uh, live, I'm going to be talking about which social media platform is best for your business. And in this video, I'm going to be covering um, different types of uses for different platforms. This question comes up a lot because uh, a lot of people think that there's, um, you know, which one do I choose? And they kind of stumble on, well, I'm not going to start because I don't know which one is going to be uh, better for my business, right? And the, the short answer to that is that if you, if you think, if you just keep contemplating onto which one's better for your business, you're really never going to find out unless you post on to a majority of them, right? And that means like any and all that you can get your hands on you should be posting on them because that's going to give you the experience of what the user is actually going through, right? The user, meaning the people that are on the platforms, uh, you want to understand how it feels to be that person. So the only way to understand, you know, how it is to be that person on, let's say, Pinterest, uh, Twitter, uh, Facebook, Instagram, it doesn't really matter which one you choose. But if you just start posting on each one of them, even new ones like Lineable, TikTok, which is amazing, and you just start posting on them, you'll see like, hey, you know what, I see a lot of these types of people, are they a match to my business? Well, I'm sure there might be some like, you might look at TikTok and say, oh, that's not really a match because it looks like, you know, a lot of younger people, this and that, that's not a match. But there might be a smaller percentage there that you could still target that, you know, it takes you, what, 10 minutes to copy your post over. But at the, at the end of the day, you're still getting maybe uh, a few people from there, but then you're getting majority from Facebook, let's say, or let's say you're getting majority from Instagram, right? Maybe it's something fitness related or something that's very quick and easy to display, which Instagram is a little bit more quick, right? For users. And then people that are on Facebook probably spend a little bit more time on posts as opposed to uh, on Instagram. So you might want to have more long form content on Facebook, right? So it really, really comes down to you know, um, you just literally trying it as a user of that platform to understand that, okay, this is how it feels on the user side. Now, how does it feel to be on my side, which is the entrepreneur side where I'm portraying that content? So you need to understand one side before you start creating the other. And the only way to do it, it's not like before, but during. So as a user, you're going to see content and as a person that is posting as well and content creator, you're going to be throwing content on there and posting content on there to see the reaction and see the engagement. Um, you want to more look for engagement. You want to look for more uh, like views. You're getting more views. You're getting more impressions. Then you know that people are actually hovering on your content and they're looking at it a little bit more. And that gives you that aspect of, okay, data, data in a form that hey, you know what, I really see people engaging with my posts. Or maybe you don't see any people engaging, but you see on the statistics, when you click on the post, you see, oh, well, look, it reached 300 people. Wow, okay, this other one re reached 50. Okay, what was the topic? Oh, the topic was on this. Oh, that's matching my audience. Maybe I need to make more content of that type of, of, of topic that got me 300 type uh, impressions, right? And on the other hand, you still want to have the variety so that you're always having a, a spectrum of different types of uh, maybe some posts get very little attraction, maybe some get more. That just happens naturally because it comes down to the time that your audience might just be on there or by chance you just stumbled upon it. So you're still learning as to what the best time is, what is this, but there's no golden rule that, hey, if I just post at this time, it's going to be the best. It's you still got to just keep posting at different times, different platforms and learning for yourself because every product, every business, every service is different. So you want to make sure that you do your research. And the best way to do your market research is by you going to the social channels. Social means there's people there, right? And putting your content, putting your product, your, your brand, whatever in front of them and see how they react to it, right? And even whether they react or not, the point is you're getting impressions. So if you're getting a couple hundred people on a post, you're getting people looking, you're getting people seeing it, right? That's fine. You don't that, just keep doing it more, right? Because you're getting people seeing it. And then it's always going to be, oh, you say, oh, well, you know, 300 people looked at it. Nobody said anything. Nobody liked it. Nobody. Well, they're still looking at it, right? And you're still going to get better. So which social media platform is best for your business? Question mark. It depends on what your engagement's like. And you should always create one piece of content and then just take that one piece of content, you put that work in, 
and go and put it in on each platform, like meaning upload it to each platform. Obviously, you're going to have to modify it a little bit according to that platform's needs. Some of them you might not be able to post a video like Alignable and you might just want to put a link to the video to your YouTube. So you might want to upload to YouTube and then share that link on Twitter. So there's lots of options here, but take that one piece of content and use it across all platforms. And don't forget about repurposing. In my other video, I talked about repurposing content. So then you have this one post, you post it, you think that's it. Well, not everyone was on the platform at that time and they didn't see it. So then a week later, you can post it again or three weeks later, create a system where you're kind of bringing content back as well, right? And getting it in front of people, okay? So this is something that does require work. Like, you know, you got to put in some work into it, but after a while it does become fun and it's actually not really that hard to do when it becomes a habit. We're very habitual as humans and as entrepreneurs. So try to build this into your habit and try to build this into your, your daily routine, right? Whether it be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or maybe Tuesdays and Thursdays, but have your days and schedule them, okay? Anyways, reach out if you have any questions, comment, and let us know which platforms you like. Like, just post them in the comments here. Um, you know, if you like TikTok, use TikTok. Maybe give some advice. Maybe say TikTok is good for this age group. Maybe say YouTube is good for this age group. You know, Facebook is good for this. Instagram is good for this. Like, post. Give us your information because that's going to also tell others that are watching. It's going to share with them as well, right? Like, what you know, what will work for them as well, okay? Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day, and I wish you guys the best. Okay, take care. Bye.